What is the difference between these two words, C-O-A-R-S-E and C-O-U-R-S-E? Both words are homonyms, which means they sound the same, but there are completely different meanings between those two words. So let's start with C-O-A-R-S-E, which means rough to the touch. In other words, if you touch something, it feels splintery or really harsh to the touch. Examples of that would be the driveway was covered with coarse sand or burlap is made of very coarse material. But coarse, C-O-A-R-S-E, also means rough as in crude, obscene, or vulgar, as in never use coarse language in front of the children, or Tom's coarse manners got him kicked out of the restaurant, which means crude or obscene or vulgar actions. In both cases, they mean rough in a different way. And remember, C-O-A-R-S-E means rough because it has the word ORS, O-A-R-S, in the middle of that word. And ORS are made of very rough wood. ORS, of course, are those instruments that help you row a boat. Rough wood. The second spelling, of course, on the other hand, is spelled C-O-U-R-S-E, and that is all other uses of the word coarse in the English language. Let me give you some examples. A playing field could be a course, as in a golf course, C-O-U-R-S-E. Or it could be a unit of study, like I am taking a grammar course at school. Or it could be part of a meal, as in I am having a three-course meal tonight for dinner. Or it could be a route or a direction, as in after the heavy rainstorm, the river took a different course, it overflowed and flooded the town. Or to flow, as in blood courses through our veins in our bodies. Or Course is used in many idiomatic expressions. For example, if you said, of course I will help you today. Of course, in that case, C-O-U-R-S-E means naturally or obviously, I will help you today. Or another idiomatic expression would be to run its course, which means something starts and continues without stopping until the end. As in, if you get a cold, you have to let the cold run its course before you feel better. A third idiomatic expression would be on course, which means something is on schedule. As in, you are on course to graduate because you have passed all of your classes. So, in summary, remember that C-O-A-R-S-E means rough as in very rough ORS, O-A-R-S, and all other uses of course, whether they be nouns, as in a playing field, or part of a meal, or a unit of study, or to flow, or idioms, are spelled C-O-U-R-S-E. So, if it's not rough, C-O-A-R-S-E, it's going to be spelled C-O-U-R-S-E. It's just that simple. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.